Hey, uh, Hammer 357 Mag here. Uh, the subject today is going to be if I could only have five guns. I've seen a few videos on this subject and they're quite interesting. So what I thought I'd do is throw in my own views. So first we're going to talk a few ground rules uh, which will establish the basis on what guns I've chosen and why and how I've stacked them to develop what I call a integrated system uh, showing the functionality of each piece at the end uh, and what it's going to perform and the functions it's going to provide. Okay, ground rules. This is a five gun integrated system with each gun building on the function and, and capabilities of the previous gun. I'm doing this video based on my own guns so that limits me some. Uh, your make models or different guns you have may differ so your system may be different than mine which is okay because what we have to do is each build a system based on the ammo and guns we have and get an integrated system to meet our functionality needs. Anyway the important thing here is to establish the functionality of each gun and how it relates to the previous gun again to build up a five gun integrated system the other thing I like to do in doing this is minimize the number of calibers to reduce the type of bullets and the cleaning supplies you'll need. I'll first choose one gun, then I'll rationalize that, then I'll choose a second gun, and based on that, the expanded penalties from the first gun, and so on and so on for the second, third, fourth, and the fifth guns. So my first gun here is going to be a 22 long rifle. And you might say, well, you know, that's, that's a nice gun, but why a 22 long rifle? Well, it's the one gun that's capable, if you only had one gun, capable of doing, doing it all. Uh, it's got low cost ammo. The ammo it uses is compatible uh, and can is found easily. Uh, it can do home defense inside and out. Uh, you can use get high capacity rounds for it. I mean magazines. I, here I go. I have a 25 round high capacity magazine so in the worst case if you need to drop somebody or you have 25 rounds to do that. This rifle can also hunt uh, small to medium game and I you know when you get to medium game it's going to be a challenge but it's doable so you got something that does a little bit of everything so it's kind of the all-round gun so it's the first gun you need the second gun I would get would be a 9 millimeter semi-automatic in this case I use the Ruger SR9C which is a compact and the reason I went with this gun, it's 9mm, it's, you know, it's easily, you know, easy to handle, uh, you know, my spouse can handle it, uh, it's my carry gun, and again, the ammo is pretty low cost when you compare it to the other rounds, 45s, uh, and whatnot, and as far as it supplements the, the rifle, it's a better home defense weapon. So now you got the all-round gun, and you have one that's now more of a home defense, plus it's a carry, and uh, so you're building your system. The third gun is going to be my tactical rifle, and in this case, I have the uh, Ruger Mini 30. It's a 7.62 by 39 semi-automatic and 30 caliber. And again, this gun runs on low cost ammo. You can get uh, Russian made steel case ammo for this pretty reasonable. And that allows you to stock up on it. It does come with high capacity magazines. You can get 20 rounds which I have here 
And if you really want to beef up, you, you can always get a 30 rounder. But I found these aftermarket 30 rounders aren't really that reliable. And also, this can be used as a hunting gun for medium to large game. So not only is it a good tactical rifle, it can be used inside, outside. It can be used for hunting. 30 caliber, so it's got the uh, velocity and the caliber to knock down uh, deer. You know, if you had to shoot a bear or a moose, you probably could. But it's predominantly a medium game gun. But anyway, so you're expanding your capability, better tactical, tactical rifle, and you've got the ability now to take out medium to large game. Uh, the fourth gun to build on this system, I'm going to go with my Marlin 3030 uh, lever action gun. And a note here, I'm choosing this because I don't have a shotgun. Again, this is my system with what I have. So without a shotgun right now, I would go with this. Uh, again, it's a common round that's found easily. The 3030, again, it's good for hunting medium to large game, uh, uh, better than the uh, Mini 30. The Mini 30, you're usually going to have uh, full metal jackets. 3030 for this usually has soft points, so when you hit the game, it's going to expand better. It won't penetrate through them like this will, and so you'll have a better knockdown capability in a one shot to put them down. Uh, and the other bonus of this, it can be used, it's just about the same size as the 22 and the Mini 30 as far as the length goes. I get mine with the shortest barrel I can, so good. It's good for in-house and outside the house uh, defense. And on the other thing is positive, since these are both 30 caliber guns, uh, your cleaning kit can be common. Now my last gun in this five gun scenario, I'm going to go with a full size Ruger SR9. Okay, now my rationale for that is that it's got a lot of com commonality with the SR9C. Uh, same ammo, common. The, the magazines for the SR9 with this adapter grip on it that comes with the SR9C can be used on the SR9C so you have the capability to use the same magazines in both with the exception of the SR9C which is 10 round mag isn't usable here so so you got some flexibility and commonality between these uh, guns. And I didn't mention it, but I'll let you know now, I have safety checked these guns right before the video. None of them are loaded. There's, no, there's nothing in the chamber. Uh, again, I'll just get one out and show you. I, no problem there. So Again, I pre-checked them all before he... I put them down here, I was going to mention that at the beginning, but I just got excited and missed that. Okay, again, the commonality of these two guns continues. They're basically the same. Same mag release, same trigger action, uh, they operate the same, they load the same, the sights are similar. In other words, you can go from one gun to the other and basically the feel for it, how it presents itself, Everything's the same, so you've got commonality from that standpoint. You're not, you know, if I got a different 9mm, it's going to work a little different. I'm not going to be as familiar with it. The takedown will be different. The cleaning will be different. Uh, didn't want to go that way. And also, even though the SR9 is a little larger than the SR9C, there are parts in it that are interchangeable. So if one gun malfunctions, there are parts that can be interchanged, which I find nice, uh, a nice uh, practical thing to do. Now, 
Now let's go through my summary and the functions of the uh, five gun integrated system. Again, after we have this whole system integrated, primary use of the SR-1022 is going to be small game. The SR-19C is your carry gun and your in-home defense. The uh, Mini-30 becomes your tactical and battle rifle, so if you're outside, this is the gun. The 3030 lever action basically becomes your hunting of medium to large game. And if you look at the SR9, it basically is a backup to your SR9C. So if you're having issues with it or something's going on with it, you got the SR9 to supplement that. So you got commonality there. Okay, those are just my thoughts on this. Uh, this is a system that's integrated with the guns I have now and so I believe they meet what I need considering my location where I'm at and what I'm doing it might not be perfect for everybody else so what I'm going to ask is everybody leave comments or any clarifications or inputs on what I've described here and if you have a different system than this, if you had just five guns, go ahead and make a video response describing each gun and how you would increment them and what functions they would perform and how you would build on that. Then the, at the end, you know, demonstrate in your whole system what the ultimate use of each gun is. I think that's important uh, to do that. Again, Thanks for your time. Have a great day. Remember, long live rock and roll in our American dream.